this video, I will present the different ways of creating rebars within Katia 3D Experience using the CIENC role. I am starting here with a concrete bridge. This could be any concrete part where you would like to design rebars. I will use the concrete structure 3D design application. First of all, since rebars are within the concrete, it is better to change the graphic representation of the 3D into the transparent mode so that we can see inside. I launched the rebar creation command. The default mode is the template one. It is based on the default catalog provided within your Katia install, and you can, of course, enrich it. There are three different types of templates. Fixed templates in red, the bar will be only driven by parameters as described in the preview. In blue, we have adaptive LP, where LP stands for limit planes. This means the bar will be relimited by planes. In black, adaptive follow surface. The rebar layer will morph and follow surfaces. For this first example, we will create a frame that will be relimited by four planes. I can then set up the bar diameter. Those diameters are coming from a table that can be customized. To define the bar, I pick the reference concrete face to be used. By default, four planar faces have been selected. If needed, I could switch them to another plane of face. A light blue preview of the frame is visible. I will adjust the covering values with each concrete faces. They are by default linked through a formula to the rebar support covering, so I need to check the box to input my value. See how the frame preview is updating. I can then go to the Pattern tab to define the repetition of bars. Those are the same pattern tools as the one used in CBD in previous videos. I switch to the spacing mode and put a 1 meter distance between each bars. I can preview if necessary the bars by clicking on Apply. My rebar layer is visible in the specification tree and I can edit it if necessary by double clicking on it. I would create a second layer using also the template mode, but this time I pick a single bar that will follow a surface. The bars will be instantiated perpendicular to the reference face I pick first. I change the pattern to a spacing of 0.4 meter. Notice that we have 3D tags on the rebar layers with information such as the rebar diameter, the spacing, and so on. The second mode of rebar creation is the wire selection mode. In this mode, I can create a sketch that will define the profile of my bar. I pick the reference face for my sketch and can draw my profile and make it start at my axis system by projecting the origin in my sketch. The profile can be constrained with the concrete to define the covering thickness. Last constraint is a parallel because the covering is already defined by the projection of the axis system origin. I choose the rebar diameter. Then I define the pattern, here a linear pattern. For the limit, I can pick the vertex of the concrete part or an existing point. I change the spacing to one meter. Notice that the bends are automatically added to the bars and can be adjusted. all at once or by picking a specific band and adjusting its radius. I can check interferences by switching to the Interference tab. By default, interferences are done also with the geometry being part of the rebars, here the sketch and axis system that are in show mode. I can remove those.
and solve the interference by changing the start covering of the rebar layer. The clash is solved. The rebar interference mode is also available in the toolbar and here I can perform an analysis between the layers I pick manually, two or more. For the rebar creation mode, I can also use wireframe. This is why I will add a line starting at the corner of the bottom sketch and going up to a plane. I can pick this line as a wire and then define a curvilinear pattern that will follow the sketch at the bottom. If necessary, I can align the axis systems to the reference to get the same orientation. I switch X and Y axis because bars will be along the X axis. Finally, I adjust the spacing. I pick the diameter of the bar. For better visualization, I can change the color of the bars. The third bar creation mode is the strap one. This one is really straightforward and efficient. I will need to select bars, so it is better to hide the concrete and the wireframe. You pick the bars that you want to strap together. Notice the preview of the strap. And for a complete strap, you need to strap again the one you picked first. We can switch the side of the bar if we want it to go inside or outside the cage. Same as before, I define the bar diameter and the color for the rebar layer. I add a pattern of one meter to repeat the strap. As always in Katia, the design can be modified and easily updated. Here, if I change the position of the top plane, all the bars will be automatically recomputed. Notice here that I have 12 bars for the strap. If I change the plane position, rebar layers are recomputed following the spacing specification of 1 meter we provided before. This will be really useful for templates. Last rebar mode is the mesh mode. It will create a mesh on an existing rebar layer between the first and last bar I will select. I pick a first bar, then a second bar, and a preview is generated. The mesh can be below or above the reference rebar layer. Here, I change the color to green for better visualization. On all rebars, I can add hooks or relimit them in the extremities tab at the start in yellow and end in a range of the bar. Here, I add a hook and define its radius and length. The spacing of my mesh is also defined inside the pattern. Here we can see that the hook does not look good. So I can go back to the extremities tab and update its radius. Now that my design is done, 
I can create bar marks for construction. I pick the layers to be marked, or the geometrical set containing all my rebars, and I can number my bars. The numbering is defined in the number group by a prefix and start numbers that you can define as you want and apply it to all the rebar layers or only the selected ones. Now I can export a report. There are different formats such as BVBS, Excel or HTML. I will pick HTML here and I'm getting the bar marks, a preview of my bar and the different dimensions so that they can be manufactured. Designing the rebars in context will allow you to solve a lot of issues on the construction site. 